Uh, this will be part one in the series on mathematics for business and economics. Here we're going to look at exponents. So rules of exponents. So x raised to the second power x squared is simply just x times x. So 5 squared is 5 times 5 or 25 x raised to the third power is x times x times x. So 2 raised to the third power, 2 cubed, would be 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Uh, another rule here, x raised to the power 1 is just simply written as x. These are equivalent. So 6 raised to the power of 1 is just 6. Moving on to rule 4, x raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 8 raised to the power of 0 would just be 1. Number 5, x raised to the power of a multiplied by x raised to the power of b. We can simplify this by just adding up the exponents, not multiplying the exponents, but adding them up. So for example, 4 squared multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 3 is just 4 raised to the fifth power. So here we have x raised to the power of a, and then that's all being raised to the power of b. Here we will multiply the exponents. This will simplify down to x raised to a times b. So for example, x squared, and then we're taking the square root of that. Just multiply these two exponents together here. 2 times 1 half is 1, or just x. Another example here going to multiply these exponents together and we'll get x raised to the 0 0.5 power. Another example here, uh, 2 squared and that's all being squared, so just 2 to the 4th or 16. Um, another example, uh, x times y and all of that is being raised to the power of a. It could be simplified down to something like this. So for example, x and y are both being raised to the one-half power. We could simplify it to x to the one-half times y to the one-half. Another example, x squared times y is all raised to the one-half power. So we're going to multiply 2 times one-half, so that just leaves x raised to the power of 1, or just x. And then y to the power of 1 times one-half is just y raised to the one-half power. Uh, not so much a rule, but something that we, as an easy mistake that we do not want to make. x plus y all raised to the power a is not the following. It's not x raised to the power of a plus y raised to the power of a. So for example, x plus y, if that's all right, uh, squared, that equals x plus y multiplied by x plus y, not x squared plus y squared. So be careful with this. Uh, number 9, x raised to the minus a power can be written as 1 over x raised to the power of a. So x raised to the minus second power can be rewritten as 1 divided by x squared. Uh, some other examples here, we've got uh, 2 times x raised to the minus 0.75. And in the denominator, we have x raised to the 0 0.25. We can use this rule number 9 here by just moving this x to the minus 0 0.75 into the denominator to get this step. And then from the other rule we learned, we can just add up these exponents. So 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 is just 1. So this simplifies very nicely to just 2 divided by x. Another example, 1 divided by x raised to the minus a power can just be simply written as x to the power of a. So this expression right here simplifies to x to the one-half power. And another example here. Simplifying this, let's take this x to the minus one-half and let's move it into the numerator. So we get the following, adding up the exponents here on x. This simplifies down to 10x.
rule 11. X raised to the power of A divided by X raised to the power of B. We'll simplify down to X raised to the A minus B power. Let's have an example. This will just simply equal X to the 1.5. Another example here. Following this rule, we've got 4x, where x is raised to the 1 half minus 1. So 1 half minus 1 just leaves x raised to the minus 1 half. And then we'll get rid of this minus exponent by following the rules and moving that x into the denominator. And another example. This will just simplify down to x divided by y squared. Rule 12. Looks something like this. So an example. Just going to multiply the, uh, the exponents here. 2 times 1 half just leaves us with x. And then 2 uh, times uh, y raised to the power of 1 is just y squared. Um, here we're going to just solve for y, not so much a rule, but just simplifying using the rules of exponents. Let's solve this mess for y. So this x to the minus 0 0.6, I'm going to move that down into the denominator. This y to the minus 0 0.5, I'll move that up into the numerator. So after making those moves, we have this, and then adding up the exponents. And we said we want to solve for y, so let's multiply everything through by x. y equals 5x. And rule 14, uh, right here, the square root of x is just x raised to the 1 half power. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.